I will not be able to let this month go before you give us the grants or you will come to EFCC. I want them to be our mediator so that you will present the documents. You, I want you to please, within two weeks of this, uh, my voice notes, I want you to gather all the documents from the one to the last one you collected that approved the, the, the amounts. So that when we get to EFCC, you, it's just simple, sir. Hand over to EFCC, let them read it out for us. The grants, the amounts, and whatever that, the terms and conditions of this, your grants. This is not a threat message. This is not that I'm doubting you, sir. But this is because I am tired of today, tomorrow, and the type of the way you are treating us. After we have paid, after we have supported you, then the only thing you have to be doing is to come and clarify things done by other camp. You came to tell us you have your grants. Let AGPGN give us the palliative they want to give us. That is the last meeting you did with us. And I raised my hand. I wanted to ask you questions. But you said you don't want to entertain questions. Sir, last month of May, I called you more than three times on phone call. You answer me once. Calling from, I said from Lagos. I want to speak with you. Say so you are in another council meeting. I said, sir, when can I call you back? You bang the phone on me. There is no way somebody can reach you. And it will be very risky now to say we want to come to you, to your hotel or to your office to see you. Because we are tired. So I am inf I'm informing you this evening, sir that if by the end by middle of this month you did not disburse these grants please package all the documents we want to meet at efcc abuja good evening nigerians subscribe to uaag grants under apostle dr ken Mwakama, the country director happy new month i am the president and CEO of Women and Youth Agricultural Gender Protection and Literacy Development Initiative Africa, also known as Wayadia. This is my first voice notes ever since I have joined this race publicly. And uh, my voice notes this evening first day of june 2024 is totally because of the happenings in the grant community since the past two weeks a lot of things has been happening a lot of secret has been coming out and i have been expecting our daddy apostle dr ken Onwakama, to say something tangible concerning all the allegations all the secrets that has come out but the last meeting you called us for you came you talk my point what i pointed out is you came out to debunk and clarify issues and you told us categorically you don't want to entertain questions sir i want to appeal to you, I am not doubting you, sir. I'm not saying you what you are what you said is wrong or is not truth. I want you, sir, to please between today and 15th of this June 2024. I am Temitokba Elu Yemi I want you to please disburse these grants. It has stayed too long. 
because you told us November that before we reach house, we will get alerts. December, you said, if a week is being added to December, we will get the money. This is the month of June, sir. I want you to please disburse this money or I want to invite you to EFCC Abuja. Yes, sir. This does not mean that I am saying you are lying. But because of all what is happening, and we don't even know the day this money will come out, and our members are already calling us scammers, frosters, liars. You know, even if you don't collect a dime from somebody and you promise the person, you know the way the person will be knocking at your door. Talk less of the leaders that contributed all the money I have been spending to this UAAG process. Sir, I will not be able to let this month go before you give us the grants or you will come to EFCC. I want them to be our mediator so that you will present the documents. You, I want you to please, within two weeks of this, uh, my voice notes, I want you to gather all the documents from the one to the last one you collected that approved the, the, the amounts. So that when we get to EFCC, you, it's just simple, sir. Hand over to EFCC, let them read it out for us. The grants, the amounts, and whatever that, the terms and conditions of this, your grants. This is not a trite message. This is not that I'm doubting you, sir. But this is because I am tired of today, tomorrow, and the type of the way you are treating us. After we have paid, after we have supported you, then the only thing you have to be doing is to come and clarify things done by other camp. You came to tell us you have your grants. Let AGPGN give us the palliative they want to give us. That is the last meeting you did with us. And I raised my hand. I wanted to ask you questions. But you said you don't want to entertain questions. Sir, last month of May, I called you more than three times on phone call. You answered me once. And I mentioned my name. That's good Good evening, sir. Good afternoon, sir. This is Temitokpa Elu Yemi Balogun. You say, where am I calling from? I say, from Lagos. I want to speak with you. You say, you are in another council meeting. I say, sir, when can I call you back? You bang the phone on me. There is no way somebody can reach you. And it will be very risky now to say we want to come to you, to your hotel or to your office to see you. Because we are tired. So I am inf I'm informing you this evening, sir, that if by the end, by middle of this month, you did not disburse these grants, please package all the documents. We want to meet at EFCC Abuja. I want you to please present the document to them. Let them read the terms and conditions, the amount we are expecting to rust. So if they confirm me to be truth, I can boldly go back to my leaders, to my members, and inform them that, yes, let us wait. You are still processing the, 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 the money. Please get prepared, sir. That is my message to you today. And again, to AGPGN, you will listen to this voice note and you will remember me. The woman that spoke with you in an hotel in Abuja. I told you that period. 
I have I don't like uh, sending voice notes and I don't talk in the public. You know me very well. That I hardly comment in any platform I belong to. I told you that period that God told me that I should inform you that there is a woman in your group. You should be very, very careful that this woman will take away many of your members. He will she will defy AGPGN and you will be led astray. If you remember me very well, I remember Abdul the German machine was there. Livingstone was there. Dawood, you were there that day. Comrade Allway, you were there. Pastor Felix, you were there. And I think there's another person, but I couldn't remember the name. I told you that you should be very, very careful and focused. When I was hearing all the things that is happening, I wept because God showed me to me and I told you, but maybe you were not careful enough and allow this to happen. Maybe you tried, but because it has been written and it happened. But I know I told you, I want you. I never knew there is any woman in your midst. And I've never set my eyes on you before. But as God showed it to me, was the way I told you. Now to you, AGPGN, the money, the palliative you promised us. We thank God that you are able to retrace your steps and finally find this favor. Please, we are eagerly waiting. We are eagerly waiting. We are praying for you. We are praying for the government in charge. We want God to please help them, threaten them, because our members are dying. Only last month, April, one CEO died that I know. We contributed money for his ailment, but he couldn't make it. This month of May, that we just finished yesterday, another person died. Even in my home group, how many leaders have gone now without seeing this money? And they have been contributing. If I cannot say 10 leaders have gone, do you know how many subscribers, how many members that have gone? And they have not tasted any of this goodie. AGPGN. God will strengthen you the more. Please drop this money. Uh, help us to, to appeal to the government. Since you received this paper from them, we know that they will listen to you because we don't know where to run to again. We pray that they will listen to you. Then you will be able to give us this money on time. Let it be this month, please. Whatever grant or palliative we are expecting, we are begging you in the name of God. As a woman, I'm kneeling down. I'm begging every one of you, or the grant adlers, I'm begging you, let this money be this month of June, please. And I want you to know that if we get this money, we will be so happy and will be able to forget all the pains i'm using this period again to inform our daddy apostle dr ken Nwakama, please if agpgn drop their palliative today it will not stop me and some of the women that are now ready to follow me to abuja it will not stop us from asking you those questions, sir. We need the money you promised us, the grants you promised us. 
in UAAG and try to package all the documents. Please, I don't want to have meeting with others. I don't want to have meeting with anybody. The government of this country, they are, they are our fathers, they are our mothers. And thank God for the people that are working now, this new regime. They listen. So we want to visit them and invite you to EFCC so that we women, this one does not concern men. Men have tried. Admiral have tried. Admi Ellis have tried. Reverend Wanchukul have come out to say his own. And uh, Comrade Philip have tried. Comrade Ola have tried. Pastor Pascal Anyang, he said he's the president of all the CEO. He has tried. Jennifer Isaac have tried. But though he was once fighting for us, he later become your uh, spokeswoman. He, she has tried. Madam Sila has been shouting, 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 talking, talking, talking. She too have tried. And I will not forget that widow's uh, leader, Madam Ojobo. She tried her best too. But today, I am telling you, sir, as a woman, this one now want to be the woman, the women of like minds, who is ready to face reality, who wants the truth. We are not babies, so we should be able to talk. Why are we hiding? Why are we afraid since? I just look at myself, that why are we keeping silence? We were called partners, but we are not acting as partners. We allow them to treat us, to usher us, sit down here, sleep here, stand up, shut up, don't talk. And we kept quiet. The weight of this problem is on our head. I am not talking about CEO that just woke up one day to become the organization's lead, leader, the NGO head, because of grants. I'm talking of you, women, that you are serving humanity. We need to rise up. If you truly are a woman and you are serving humanity, you run a cooperative or you run an NGO, let's gather together this month of June. Let's gather together. We have to invite Apostle Dr. Ken Uwakama to EFCC Abuja. Please support yourself by yourself. Transport yourself to Abuja. If you are interested, reach out to me. If you are interested, please reach out to me. Chat me up on 080-20-578565. Don't call the number because it will not be reachable. I don't want any elder to call me. I don't want any leader to talk to me. I don't want any men in this program. We want women alone to gather. I've arranged this type of program before, during Teobat. But because I opened a platform, call it the Borahs of Our Time, and I was adding people so that we can come to Abuja and talk. Some people called me, they said I should stop. And that is why I don't want to make any move to open any platform again. And even this number will not be reachable. You can only chat me up. And only the people that we, we talk together are women. They are our fathers, they are our husband. Then let's, let's come together and put a stop to all this. For how many years are we going to be sleeping in one room? Are we going to be dwelling in the wilderness? We have crossed the Red Sea according to our daddy, Apostle Dr. Ken Iwakama. You have carried us to the wilderness. Women, we are crying today that we, there is no food for us in the wilderness to eat again. Our children are crying because we couldn't feed them in the wilderness. And the Red Sea has already closed up. We can't go back to Egypt. Therefore, please package 
all the documents pertaining to UAAG grants. Let us meet at EFCC Abuja because I am going to invite you. Women, we are going to invite you. We are not doubting you, but we want you to come and show the document, the proof of this grant. We want you to come and show your mandate to the government of today. Let the EFCC read the terms and conditions to us, and we will go back happily to our members that truly UAAG grant is real. But sir, if you will not be able to do that, if you will not be able to bring your documents, prepare to face us. Prepare to face women. Legally, according to the law of this Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you. God bless every one of you that have been fighting. God bless every agitator. God bless everybody that is expecting this UAAG grant. My name is Temito Kwe Eluye Thank you all.